Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Econ Bulldog. And yes, we have surpassed 100K in subs, thanks to you guys. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Chase glitch. Also, uh, three ways to make money with your credit. And at the end, I have a special uh, treat for you guys just for staying tuned till the end. All right. So what we're going to dive into is talk about this Chase glitch that everyone is talking about okay i want to make sure you know we are in the right um presentation mode so you guys can see all right guys so let's get started okay a little um you know a little wordplay um so <laughs> you guys can see right in the comments what this means all right and uh it means chase glitch Okay, chase glitch. All right, and what is this chase glitch? Is that people are thinking that Chase really had a glitch and they're just giving away um, free money. And uh, that is far from the case, guys. That's far from the case. Um, I'm gonna dive into it, what people are actually doing. And, uh, it, you know, they fixed the problem, but this is what they were doing, all right? People thought Chase was just giving away money and uh, there was this glitch, but in actuality, this was the the actual uh, thing that was going viral. All right, I don't know if this guy would actually did this or not, uh, but there was a TikTok video about it. So you insert a fake check into the ATM. Let's say you wrote one for twenty thousand, um, and Chase would allow you to, to take a good portion of that money out. So if you were to put ten thousand, Chase was letting you take out four or five thousand. Okay, so if you did that, let's say um, on a Thursday, right? Because the check takes about one to two days to clear, and then you did another one and another one and another one. Uh, you can see how that can pile up, plus fees, plus what you owe, right? So insert a fake check into the lot, um, into the ATM, and then you're able to withdraw. Right. This is check fraud. All right. This is check fraud. And um, since we're here um, and I'm, I'm really transparent with you guys. So in my 20s, right, 20s, early 30s, I was just bad with money. I was always, you know, um, didn't have money. You know, I always had 100, 200 bucks in my bank account. And, um, you know, it was hard. It was hard. And I remember asking one of my buddies for 100 bucks. Right. Like I needed like 150. So I text him, uh, Eddie, <laughs> he's the one that put me on this. Right. That's my 20s. And he goes, hey, bro, can I borrow uh, 20? No, I said, can I borrow 100, 150 bucks, bro? And literally, I just needed money so I can take out my girl or, or buy some diapers or something like that. That's what it was. And uh, he was like, why don't you just write yourself a check? And I go, what, what do you mean? He goes, write yourself a check for let's say 300 okay and then you're able to take out a hundred okay and then on monday make sure you have the money in there because they're going to take it out it's like, all right cool 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 um so i did it i did it um and and it worked right um kind of didn't really understand it i was like oh shoot but i only i, I did it that one time and I never again, I wanted to be in that kind of situation where I'm writing myself a check to myself, put in the bank, and then I was able to take out a hundred bucks. Like I said, um, sometimes when you're in a tough spot or, you know, just trying to feed your family, you'll, you know, you'll do what it takes, right? So that was, that was me in my twenties. And back when I was getting cash advances from those checking the cash places, which start thinking about why is there a pawn shop Checking a cash place, freaking laundry mat, all in the same plaza, right? Because those people, it's intended they they usually have no money, so they're pawning stuff, right? They're getting cash advances. They're at the laundry mat, right? It's just crazy how they put all three in one. All right, guys. So this is what the chase uh, fraud, you know, glitch. I'm sorry, chase glitch was all about. Um, another thing, I posted a video using this same screenshot 
Uh, you can see it on my video shorts. And then people were just coming after me like, oh, okay, womp, womp. Like trying to see my downfall. And I just did it as a, you know, just a joke. You know, trying to get um, people to, to like kind of raise awareness of this glitch. Uh, but yeah, guys, don't recommend. Even doing the check thing that I just shared with my experience, you know, don't even do that, right? I mean, I feel like there's so many ways now to be creative for you to make money, you know? So um, let's go to the next one. So it's obviously check fraud, all right? Fraud, um, not the best way, you know, to um, go to jail. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you could do a lot of things, but check fraud, get in, end up in jail over a few thousand dollars. And, you know, I think the, the whole point of this is that they're using the money and they're spending it super fast. Like there's no intention of investments. There's no intention of like, they're using quick money, right? And they're just spending it, trying to live a lifestyle that, you know, that maybe they haven't earned, right? So that's crazy, right? Check fraud, okay? Um, yeah, once again, uh, do not do this. You know, people are getting their account shut down. People are going to jail, right? People are going to end up where? In check systems, okay? Check systems is when you owe a bank, you know, it could be even five bucks, I've heard, where someone ends up in check systems and uh, they report you, the banks report you to check systems. So then you cannot open other banks, okay? Um, it's crazy because when you're in check systems, bro, you know, you need a bank account to grow. So for you guys that have been following me for a while and you still have a chime card, do not use a chime card. Get an actual bank account. Fix your check systems, right? Literally, you are leaving a lot of money on the table because you're playing small. All right? Please get that out your system. No check systems. All right. Beware of scams. Take your credit serious. Build up and start using that money to invest in yourself. Even a thousand, two thousand. You know, audible.com, twenty dollars a month, right? And you can get audio, audio books. You know, some you have to pay additionally. Right now I'm reading Psychology of Money. Great book with the book club. Shout out to you guys. Um, you know, Kevin, Rocio. Uh, Marisol, Yoksandi, um, you know, great to be in that group. And um, yeah, next one. All right. So starting a business with credit. Okay. This inflatable pool bar costs you about, let's say, 2900 All right. Maybe you get the chairs. I might be a little extra. It might be everything included. All right. But you can do an inflatable bar, rent it out to someone and charge them 500 bucks a day. Right. This is a good business model. OK, people like that look. Right. Maybe someone's 40th birthday. Right. Maybe someone's, um, you know, anniversary, whatever it is. This can make you money if you market it correctly. All you need is one video to go viral and then people will contact you. Right. Don't sleep on content, guys. This is a great gem right here. Also, junk removal. I always told myself starting from scratch. Right. I know a lot of information. I know how to build a website. I know how to, you know, pretty much print money. Right. But junk removal is one of those things. If you don't have, you know, I'm not to say you don't have that many skills, but junk removal is one of those things where you can make a thousand dollars a day if you operate right. Right. So this is what I would do. I would post an ad on offer up, boost it for seven days. Right. Get people to call me, put some pictures of junk removal. OK get people to call me, right? Sell them. Okay. Hey, I'll charge you 400, 500 for this. Go to U-Haul, rent a truck, right? It charges you about a hundred bucks a day. If you're like 30, 40 miles within the radius. Okay. Go to their house, get the junk, and then go to the local waste dump in their city. And then to dump all that U-Haul stuff, I think it's like 30 bucks. Okay. So potentially you can make five, 600 bucks on one job okay and then profit about three or four hundred if you do it correctly 
you know, this is something you can start from nothing and uh, build off that, okay? And uh, third, you know, if you build your credit up to good credit, then you have a car, right? And then you can rent it out to a private party that wants to do Uber, right? And then essentially they will pay you weekly. Let's say your car payment on the low is 400 on the low, right? But then you're getting paid, you know, 300 bucks a week so they can drive your car. That is potentially, you know, 1200 bucks a month, right? And then plus your car, plus insurance, uh, you're probably profiting 600 bucks a month passively. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. Okay. So three ways real quick using credit, right? The two. Um, obviously putting everything on a credit card. The third one is just having decent credit so you can get a car with a low APR. Navy Federal is a great place to get an auto loan. All right. And then a few things real quick now that you're here. I have a free school and I have a paid school. All right. Both give value. Obviously, the paid school, so much more gems. You can get into Navy Federal. Link is below. Okay. And then for those of you who are here, Text the number 951-667-8391, all right, Latino Solutions, and we're going to give you a special price if you text the word Chase Glitch, okay? It means a lot to me that you watch this video, like, subscribe, share this with a friend, educate them. That's my goal. If I want to get to a million subscribers, I got to gas, 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 all right? We're getting, uh, we just got to 103,000, 104,000. And I appreciate you much so much. I will do an unveiling of the the plaque, which means a lot to me. And I appreciate you guys.